Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to quickly make a terrain using a height map in 3JS. So instead of a flat terrain we can import a height map make it look like this or using different height maps we can make different types of terrains. So let's see how this works. So a height map is just a black and white image that we're going to use as a displacement map for our material. You can download a height map or you can make a height map using a drawing program like Paint 3D. The dark areas will be low areas and the white areas will be high areas and all the gray colors will be in between the black and white heights depending on how close they are to black or white. So after I've made my basic 3JS scene, I'm going to create my ground. So my ground is going to be a plane geometry, a thousand units wide and a thousand units long. And I'm controlling the number of width segments and height segments using these two slider variables. Now I'm creating my displacement map. I'm creating a new texture loader and I'm setting the path to the images folder in my code editor directory and I'm loading whichever map I chose in the, that GUI. So this sliders.heightmap property will be the path of whatever the height map that is. Then I'm setting the horizontal and vertical texture wrapping to repeat wrapping and I'm setting the number of repeats to the slider variable so I can repeat the texture horizontally and vertically. And I'm creating a new ground material, a mesh standard material. I'm setting color to black and the wireframes to true just to show it for this video and the displacement map will be this disk map of the height map image and you can play with how high you want the distortion to be with the displaced map scale the higher the number the more the mesh vertices will be displaced so you can play with this number to get an effect you want and then I'm just adding the ground mesh to the scene and that's it so that's all there is to it. You're just getting a black and white height map image. You're setting it as the displacement map and then you can change the strength of the displacement map using the displacement scale property value.